What were Maurice and King Julian doing in World War II? Well, you see, I'm a history professor at the University of American Samoa, and recently new information came to light regarding Maurice's and King Julian's actions during this period, between the years of 1933 to 1945. We all of course know about the three major Axis powers, the German Reich, the Kingdom of Italy, and the Japanese Empire. But what if I told you that there was actually a fourth member to this coalition, and that this information was intentionally removed from all history books and historical records by the FBI? According to new information found in Soviet reports, Maurice and King Julian fought side by side with the Germans in World War II. The first clue we have for this is this picture. This picture was taken on 1939 and clearly shows Maurice marching with the German battalion on their campaign to invade Belgium, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and France. Today we know that Maurice was actually a member of the 18th SS Panzer Division and that he served under the command of the German commander Walter von Braukitsch. King Julian was also a part of this. On 1933, he decided that his kingdom was too small. After reading a book by a certain Austrian painter, he then decided that he will join forces with him in order to expand his empire. Don't believe me yet? Well, as proof, I can show you this footage of King Julian after the famous speech of the Austrian painter at Munich. On March 15, 1929, King Julian then went on stage and said this. You know what they'll say? I would uh, invade a neighboring country and impose my own ideology, even if they didn't want it. In fact, according to new evidence, Maurice and King Julian were photographed visiting the Austrian painter's house at the Bavarian Alps many times. So why did they do it? As I mentioned, Julian wanted to invade a neighboring country. The problem is that he already invaded all of them, so he decided to invade Belgium instead. At the end, they succeeded and Julian ruled Belgium and various other conquered territories until the end of the war. After the fall of Berlin, they had no choice. They had to run away. Unlike other SS officers that fled to Australia and Brazil, they had a different plan in mind. They fled to New York after the war and then started to work on gaining full control over the US government and the FBI. This is how they were successful in deleting all records of them being in World War II. And this is why no one ever told you about this. Today King Julian and Maurice still rule America in disguise. Since I made this information public, my life is now in grave danger. Before they catch me, my last request is that you like this video and comment W in the description. Also, share this video so everyone can learn about this dark secret. This person has asked me to mention him in this video, so there you go, buddy. If you would like to be mentioned too in future videos, let me know in the comments. Bye!